So, what else is there to talk about E3? We have 10 minutes left. Okay. Any closing thoughts on this year's E3? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it mediocre? I don't think it was, like, that great. It honestly. wasn't the greatest. It was no last year where we go. It was the game... It was the year of games. Yeah, last year, last we year had, was good. Last year, we had some of the most insanely good game lineups we've had in a long time. We mm. got a Shadow of the Colossus, Persona 5, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. We got Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm. We got so many damn amazing games last year. Yep. Just to name a few that were, like, unreal. Like, and that's the thing. is like, last year is tough to beat because we did get so many great games mm -hmm. and because of that it's going to be tough to beat but i think i think this year was like it was good i i would say it, it was great just because everything i predicted kind of happened where it was like for the most part everything i knew it was going to happen i knew xbox was going they had to come out and they had to present games which they did uh i my entire list of bethesda predictions was actually incredibly spot on and everything they announced was literally on my list so it was like they threw everything at the wall and it stuck which was awesome they mm -hmm. had andrew wk there doing music which was like the weirdest thing ever but it's like <laughs> man andrew wk who's not pumped a lot um, of celebrities too i think actually the biggest disappointment of this year was square because yeah what the because no hell was that because because the thing is is like sure they're really doubling down and making sure we know the release date of kingdom hearts 3 what is it cat um i think it's january 29th zach don't forget january 29th. <laughs> um but it's uh, but yeah, they they didn't show off anything we already didn't know about. They didn't even show off the Avengers project, which my yeah. prediction was they were going to show off the Avengers project and have it ready next year for when the Avengers Four. part two of like Avengers Four happens, because then you can d double down on the marketing essentially, yeah, which would make the most sense. But no, no Avengers talk whatsoever on the project, and even more so. And I knew this was a stretch as well. Was them announcing um, they were showing off more Final Fantasy VII remake, but that didn't happen. I don't know. There's a lot of disappointment for me this year. I don't think that game's ever coming. No, no. I really do not think. I think I'll get, I think I'm going to call it right now. I think I'm going to, we're going to see that game in like seven years. Yeah? At least. Uh, okay. I'll bet that it'll be five. Okay. That's well, my I'm, bet. I'm on that. Because like somebody has to kill that director and never let him direct again. Goddamn. Tetsu because he cannot finish anything. I don't know why people, like he's a genius. But he just takes But he long. can't do anything. Like he just. He drags his ass. He's got real bad Hideo Kojima syndrome where yeah. he spends his lifetime working on a project and then it finally comes out and it's great and it's amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's like, he takes years. Yeah. Like Final Fantasy 15 took how many years? Close to 15 years. Yeah, but you know what? 15 too, like the original plot is not what it ended up being. The original plot seemed way more interesting. It was like a mafia story. Yeah. And then it became like a king and a... Development and it was now. weird. Yeah. But no. So, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, before I forget, I was going to say, no Battlelands 3 and no Mortal Kombat 11. Those were probably my two biggest disappointments Mortal because Kombat, eh? it's time for a new Mortal Kombat and we need a Borderlands. That's it. Borderlands would be nice. That's, that, that's my gripes. Blood, uh, Bloodborne 2. Mm, that's it. But we got Sekiro of Shadows Die Twice. That's true. That's true. For me, I don't know. I'm just pretty hyped with the games we did get. I didn't really watch it a lot because I had football this week. So I'd have a lot of free time to do it. Excuses. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all boozed up. I'm not abused. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah, whoa. Yeah, G is not abusing me at home. Don't worry. Someone push you We were hitting stairs. people. We were hitting him beforehand. Yeah. We don't yeah. even live together. Well, yeah. He comes <laughs> to my house and beat me up. He just comes to your house and he hits you. That's okay. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> whoa. So I think that's it for our kind of E3 Boy. wrap up. Once again, these are the Friendship Breakers. You can find them on Twitch, hey. YouTube, Instagram. I'll tag them, add the links all up so you guys can just find them easily. But plug it for the audio. Like exactly oh yes, the I audio. Know. I forgot. And the dude. Okay. So friendship, the friendship breakers. It's exactly how it sounds. They're on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all under that name, correct? Yes, we're all under friendship breakers under everything. On so your street friendship corner. breakers. Yeah, and on the street corner yep, too. We yep. sell oranges. We holler. Yeah. Coincidentally, we just throw them at you. Yeah. You, you. You buy them and then we throw them at you. <laughs> That's how I, it works. But no, yeah, it's orange Gladys on a banana though. Yes. See, now we have a secondary market. Friendship Breaker Bananas. Hell. Um, <laughs> Genius. You can't do that on Twitch. You can't uh, eat bananas on Twitch anymore. No, you can't. You can't. So can't check your feet on Twitch either. These huh? guys stream no, you can't. games all the time. I guess you guys have a larger cast, though, for, for Friendship Breaker. We do. Right? There's uh, me, Kat, uh, Gallagher, Tim, and our two podcast hosts, with Bo and Kote. Did you say hose? Bo. Yeah. Our <laughs> podcast hose. Bo, Bo? Yeah, Bo, like the one with the man bun, who says, hey, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, everybody me, yeah, knows Bo. Yeah, he's come here. He, yeah, he's in an episode. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. 
yeah. yeah. So almost a year ago now. Bo's the man. He's on our team. So yeah. It's but yeah, like we're constantly trying. We're constantly expanding. Uh, we're gonna be at the Saskatoon Fan Expo this year as yes. well with a booth, and uh, we'll lead this with a very ominous tone. We're gonna have the Wheel of Revengeance there. Yes. Which sounds as dangerous as it's going to be. <laughs> it's you're gonna cry. Okay, I think that's about, about it. Thank you guys so much for watching to the live stream on YouTube. Make sure I subscribe, leave a like. Make sure you guys, once again, search these guys up because they are really fun to talk to, really nice to talk to. Oh, thank you. They're nerdy like us, I assume, so. Hell yeah. It's not Support insult. your local Twitch thought. Oh, and you know what? Hit that little bell because they need to know when you guys need to know when they go, when the new video comes out. Because YouTube true. doesn't do that for you anymore. Hit mm -hmm. that bell. Yeah, YouTube is mm -hmm. really screwing around. Smash that like button. Out. Yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for coming on once again. It's been Anthony, I guess. It's usually G, but it's been Anthony from the F Word. Talk to you guys later. Later. Bye, guys.